A fresh start for the Baltimore Ravens. The players are back and training camp is in full swing. Although last year didn't end the way fans hope, this upcoming season has the makings of a new beginning. It feels good to be back with the guys. I'm a new energy, some new players. So uh, I think our guys are, uh, are very uh, interested in the process and taking it one step at a time and trying to do everything right along the way. And behind the team, every step of the way is, of course, the faithful Ravens flock. I'm pumped for the season coming up. We are um, ticket holders, so I'm excited to get to every game. From the players on the field to the playmakers in the community, it's all about the Ravens on this edition of 11 TV Hill. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Newton and welcome to this edition of 11 TV Hill. We are outside of the Under Armour Performance Center because it is that time of year. Ravens training camp is underway. This season, there's a new face in the Ravens front office. In April, Sashi Brown took over as president, filling the role once held by Dick Cass. Brown is now only the second black team president in the NFL. And earlier this year, I spoke with him about his vision for the team and its future. Join us now, Sashi Brown. Thanks for coming by, man. Thanks, Jason. I know that every organization has a checklist for what they're looking for. I'm curious what your checklist was in coming to the Ravens. Oh, man, that, that's a great question. It was just a great organization. Yeah. You know, I, I've talked about this a little bit, but uh, whether you talk about the Cardinals and baseball, Spurs and the NBA, uh, the Ravens are that franchise in the NFL. And Baltimore's really privileged to have them. I'm really honored to be able to join such a great organization. They have great ownership, uh, great leadership in terms of Coach Harbaugh, uh, Eric DaCosta, Ozzy, obviously, has been a guy who I've looked up to and been a mentor. Uh, and DeCass is a gentleman who uh, I've, I've certainly spent a lot of time with. It starts with Steve Bashotti, of course. Sure. Um, but it's a great organization, excellence all around. And so uh, I was really honored to have the opportunity to join. We always hear, especially here in Baltimore, about the Ravens way. And I'm sure each team has an identity. Play it, like a Raven. Play like a Raven. Yeah. So uh, do, you, do you find that when you walk in the building as a newcomer, did you feel that when you came in? You, you do feel that. Yeah. And, you know, obviously I've competed against these guys for over a decade. <laughs> I, I won some but lost more. <laughs> and uh, so I made sure they, they, they knew that and they, they reminded me of that too. But, uh, yeah, you come in, humble yourself, work yeah. hard, uh, and achieve excellence, trying to get better every day. When you, um, you see a lot of teams and there's a focus, especially with your job, it's in-house, but you're also out in the community as well. Yeah. And I'm curious about the importance, for you at least, where the community comes in and keeping that connection between the two. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. I, it's incredibly important. I think that's a big part of what attracted me to the opportunity. The Ravens have, and, and Steve and his family foundation have, have invested a lot of, not just money, but also time and, and you know, our, our other resources to this Baltimore, greater Baltimore community. We'll continue to do that while I'm here. It's incredibly important. I think we have some exciting opportunities on the horizon and obviously have uh, a, a quite a bit of work that we've already done in the community. If there's work to be done from your office and heading down, is there anything you target? Is there something that you want to set as the Sashi Brown way at least? Not yet. Eventually we'll get there, but, yeah. but you know, it won't be my way. It'll be the, <laughs> it'll be the Ravens way for sure. Um, and, and we've talked, we've got some, some things in the work right now. We're probably not ready to quite announce those. Um, but we'll, we'll continue. We've got Ozzy Scholars and Raven Scholars yeah. and a lot of scholarship programs so around education and youth, certainly a big piece of it. Uh, but but we'll, we're working on it and we'll be back to probably do another spot with you when we get ready to announce it. I'll be in trouble if I don't talk about on the field. What sure. impresses you uh, so far about the product that the Ravens are able to put out? A lot of young players coming in that are going to have an opportunity to, uh, to, to really get after it this year and, and, and step up into some key areas for us on the field. Uh, Eric did a great job in the draft. A couple key free agents coming in too, uh, so really short up our secondary. Lamar's out there working hard, and so we're excited to get him back as well. Uh, so as we get healthy this year, I think we'll, we'll really have an opportunity to compete at a very high level. Well, you said the names. I got to ask you. Everyone's focused on this contract right now. Yeah. Do you have any insight, anything you want to talk to us about as far as he goes? No, I, I think, you know, Lamar's, <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> uh, Lamar's, uh, Lamar is, is obviously a guy who's smart, very smart young man, yeah. right, and takes his craft very seriously. Eric's a master. At it. It's a lot to write about, but having been through a lot of these processes in my career uh, at certain stops, um, you know, you work through them, and the important thing is there's great communication between Eric and Lamar right now, and he's, he's out there working. He'll be back here soon enough. Tell me a story about your, your lineage. Some folks don't know where, where you've gone. You've gone in between leagues. Is, it, yeah. is that different at all? It has been different. It's great. Had uh, honor to, to get over to Monumental Sports and, and Ted Leonsis group down in, in Washington. 
and work both NBA and WNBA leagues and, and get to know the folks there and some of the personnel there. And so that's, that's great perspective that I'm able to bring to this job now. Uh, and it's also a league that I grew up loving and still watch a lot of NBA ball. I was watching uh, a little bit of the game last night. So, yeah, um, yeah sure. It's, it's been a great experience. Excellent. Yeah. Brown, good to see you, man. Hey, Thanks for thank coming you. Back. All right. Appreciate it. Yep.